back. It's me, my reborns. I'm here back with another video. You were a former actor, Paul. Today is Monday, August 14th, and it's currently 4.14 p.m. And I have Milano here for today's video. And I'm just going to change him out of his outfit that he got changed into, like, two months ago, I want to say. I'm not exactly sure, but as you guys have been seeing on my channel, I haven't been uploading as much as i used to but i've just been super busy which i told you guys before so if you guys don't see videos from me i'm still here i still love my babies but i'm more tired now if i'm going to choose between taking a nap or recording a video to get three comments i'm going to take a nap <laughs> so yeah we're gonna get him changed into another outfit that i got from the uk a couple of years ago and it's just this yellow and white striped shirt with these gray shorts. It's nothing special about it, but it's still really, really cute. And you guys know I put a yellow outfit on Saint the last video. But I realized there's like another outfit that kind of matches this one that I should have put on him. But it's okay because they're like the same shade of yellow. So yeah, that's all I'm going to be doing for today's video. I don't have a topic, but in my last video, you guys completely missed my topic. But it's probably because sometimes I'm not good at explaining things. So long story short, for my last video, that topic, I was basically saying how I constantly see babies. And they're always like, the baby is sold, but I never see a for sale post. Or I never see the baby on any other platform stating that the baby is for sale. So that's basically all I was saying in my last video was that I always see like some really cute babies and the baby is like only posted once, once or twice and in the caption or something they're like the baby's not for sale, the baby is sold but I never see the baby up for sale and the person like doesn't take, like the artist doesn't take customs or anything so I'm like how, how did the baby sell? when there wasn't like a for sale post or anything. That's basically what I was trying to say in my last video. A lot of you guys didn't understand what I was saying, so hopefully that clarifies it. Anyways, I should have probably had a topic for today's video, but it's not going to be long at all. I wanna try to make another video today, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. If I can make a video today, that's fine. If I can't, I can do one Thursday or maybe on Saturday. So yeah, I should have really had a topic, but I'm about to be done changing him. This video is two minutes, so let me try to think of something really quick. Okay, let's talk about kids. I want to talk about sold out limited edition kids. I should have got a white onesie for him underneath this. That's crazy. I said the exact same thing with Saint, and I didn't bring one, and I have so many. But let's talk about sold out limited edition kits so if you guys don't know what a sold out limited edition kit is it's basically a vinyl blank kit that has a limited number and it's it's it can be really any number it can be a large number it could be a small number but let's say like his kit is a sold out limited edition kit and i think there's a thousand something for his kit but it's all sold out so there are some blanks i'm trying to find <laughs> which way is the front i think this is the front like there's no tag or anything to indicate which is the, which way is the front and which way is the back or would it be this way okay i think it's this way maybe it's common sense and i just don't have any but anyways so his kit has been sold out for about four five years now and occasionally you'll see blank kits and i'm just using his kit as an example because he's sitting here and he is a sold out limited edition kit and let me say this i just thought of this topic offhand so i may be all over the place but just bear with me and try try to just keep up anyways i occasionally see his kit for sale okay let me not no not occasionally i see his blank kit for sale every once in a while and since he is a sold out scoped i don't hardly see his blank kit for sale i don't even hardly see his kit for sale painted but you know sometimes you get 
you do see some for sale. And most of the time, if not like 99% of the time, his blank kit is like so much money. And I might, now mind you, his blank kit originally was like $115, $110. But now if you try to find his blank kit, it's well over $1,000. And some people just say, oh, yeah, well, that's the hobby for you or everything is going up in the world. They use that as an excuse to overprice a lot of these kits that, in my opinion, aren't worth it. But I just want to know how you guys feel about, like, long story short, because I'm making it more complicated than what it needs to be. And that's the reason why a lot of you guys probably aren't understanding my topics. How do you guys feel about overpriced blank kits? Because I don't see anyone saying like, wow, that is a lot of money for a blank kit. But instead, I see it, I see it normalized. I see people saying, oh, you're not going to find anything cheaper for that kit. Or like, wow, this is a good deal. And the kit is like $600 for a blank kit just because it's sold out limited edition. So I do want to know you guys' opinion about it. Now, okay. I have not bought a kit, a blank kit for more than what it cost. However, I am open to it because there are a lot of kits that I missed out on because when I entered this hobby, I was very, very young. So there are a lot of kits that I missed out on that I would like to have in my collection, but A, it's either not paying how I want, B, there's none for sale, so the other option I have is to buy the blank kit that is overpriced, but I do have a limit because I'm not spending a thousand dollars on the blank kit. Now you guys might, because you guys might be balling like that, but even if I did have a thousand dollars to spend on a blank kit, I still wouldn't do it. I don't care what kit it is. So I just want to know how you guys feel. Uh, just keep it respectful in the comments, as always. You know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. This is a topic where I guess. Some people could be right, some people could be wrong, but I don't know. I feel like it's just an opinion. If you don't like the price of something, you know, you can just simply not buy it. That's what I do. If I don't like the price of something, I'm just not going to buy it. Um, I'm not going to comment under there saying, oh my gosh, this is so much money because that doesn't help anything. But sometimes some people do need to be told about themselves because over a thousand dollars for a blank kit, like that, I just can't see anyone charging that and i definitely can't see anyone spending that but i remember back in the day like back in the day when it's really like a few years ago but i remember people will sell like the sold out limited like the sold out limited edition blank kits for just like 50 or 100 dollars more than they paid and back then people were like oh my gosh like why are you charging so much for blank kit but like now people are actually charging so much for a blank kit and no one says anything so it's just kind of funny to see but like back in like 2019 2020 there could be like a sold out limited edition kit from like 2015 2016 and then they'll have it up for sale for like 250 dollars plus shipping and they probably pay like a hundred something dollars like a hundred 105 110 dollars and you know that's fine and dandy because i will personally pay 50 100 dollars more than what the blank kit originally cost if it's a sold out limited edition kit but i just see it so i just see the kits for so much now where it's like okay i i cannot pay this and i won't pay this because i just feel like it's ridiculous because for the most part you can get a fully completed baby for that price for 800 dollars that they're charging for the blank kit you can get you a fully painted baby. So I guess it all just comes down to... Sorry, guys. He looks a lot better with this hovering over him. But I guess it just all comes down to each person. You know, everyone's different. Someone might be able to spend $2,000 on a blank vinyl sold out limited edition kit. And some people might not want to spend more than $50. So that's it. I don't really... I'm not going to say whether it's right or wrong because what other people do is really none of my business. I just feel like it's kind of like a monkey see, monkey do type of thing. They saw one person charging so much for a sold out edition kit. They're like, oh, okay, well, if they, got that, if they got that much for it, then I can try it. And then so on and so forth. I see that a lot in this community. People just 
try something and they see other people do it and it goes good for them so they try it and then other people see it so they try it <laughs> that type of thing i say do what you want because there is a market for pretty much everything but you will know if something will work out you can see like for example if i decide to list them for four thousand dollars sure i can try that i can most certainly try it but i'll be able to see that he's not worth that because no one is interested or buying him just for the simple fact that his price is too much if there's no one willing to pay four thousand dollars for him then there's no market and either i need to lower his price if i want him sold or i can keep him like that and hope for a miracle which will never happen so just have to keep that in mind you can list a baby or a kid for however much you want at but at the end of the day if there's no one willing to buy that then you're just out of luck i guess i don't know anyways again let me know how you guys feel about blank kits being i say overpriced but i don't know if there's a different word to say because i don't know let me think my mind is blank not even joking my mind is blank right now so i don't know if overpriced is the right term to use or not but you guys will have to let me know again in the comments how you feel about blank kits being so much money nowadays just because of the simple fact that they're sold out limited edition again i am willing to pay a little bit more for a sold out limited edition kit if big if it's a kit that i really want in my collection i don't care much for whoever the sculptor is because there are certain sculptors who kits are automatically overpriced because of who they are i don't care about that if it's if the kit itself is like a kit that i really want or been wanting and it's mine for me are usually like kits that sold out again when i first joined the hobby like back in like 2014 2015 like those kits and i just weren't able to get them those kits are the ones i'm talking about and those are mainly the only ones that I have been interested in and will pay more for them now these kits that just got sold out six months ago and are four hundred dollars when they were 126 months ago I'm not paying for that <laughs> I'm not because 90% of the time they're not worth it and I don't even like the kit or scoped anyways I'm not going to just buy it because it's sold out like most people or because it's a limited edition I say or sold out limited edition like most people I don't want anything that I genuinely don't like in my collection. It's pointless. I'm not going after sculptors that are popular. I'm not going after kits that are popular. I'm going after what I actually like and what I want in my collection because I feel like that's the best way to collect and it makes the hobby fun for me instead of just collecting what Becky, Tom, and Sally has or what I think Becky, Tom, and Sally will like. Anyways that's pretty much it for this video i'm glad that it wasn't a three four minute video and actually a good length so that's pretty much it but i do have some exciting news in my next video that i think you guys are going to enjoy so again i'm hoping i can do another video today if not that's okay i can do it either thursday or saturday and i can have it uploaded either saturday or sunday for you all so stay tuned for my next video and if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can go ahead and do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. If you guys are interested in any of my babies, you can contact me through my Instagram. Again, I made my Instagram private as of recently, but you guys can still message me. It will just go to my message request, so I'll see it either way. However, if you guys aren't able to get in touch with me through Instagram and you want to buy a baby, I only have two for sale and this one is not for sale. I have a full body silicone baby boy and i have margo by cassie braze but if you guys are interested in one of those and you can contact me through instagram you can contact me using my email my email is maya reborns at gmail.com and that's it for today's video look how cute milano looks he looks adorable i'm not going to do his hair but i need to because his hair has been in the same style for like two months <laughs> but he looks cute Anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments. If you need video requests, never to subscribe to me. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.